Today is the extraordinary beginning of a new era. My name is Jared, and apparently, as of today, this is day five of the 30-day speaking challenge, which means that I am one-fifth done with um, my November of Laos. So, I'm going to go ahead and play the recordings, and I'm going to actually hope that I can actually manage to translate them. Uh, okay, I'm so scared. Here goes. I see Jared Gimbal. Yeah, that was easy. That's my name is Jared Gimbal. Okay, so that would be my first language is um, English and my second language is Yiddish. Uh, very interesting. I think I did notice that I might have actually messed up a little bit of the vowels there. Um, Okay, so what I said there was that my favorite movie was uh, a Greenlandic film that I actually saw back in October, uh, which means uh, In the Land of Our Shadows, which was Greenland's first ever high fantasy film. It's a fantastic masterpiece and also very, very funny as well. And um, certainly when it comes to DVD, I don't know if it will be available in your region. I certainly hope that it will be available as widely as possible. Then definitely go ahead and check that out. It's really worth it. Okay, and uh, next one. Kanti pa ong ma and pasalam pasa anglit shark. Okay, so what I said is that my favorite word in Lao was the word pasalam, which means shark. In English. Axon ti pa on ma men, axon basa lao, axon basa miyama, axon basa sinala, dan axon basa malayalam. Okay, so there I actually mentioned my favorite writing systems used for languages uh, Lao, Burmese, Sinhala, and Malayalam, which very interestingly, Mango language is pronounced as in Malayalam. Am I giving any cues as to any new languages that I might do in this series? Maybe, maybe not. But uh, yeah, 2018 is definitely going to be, regardless of whether I don't do pick up new languages or not, it's probably going to be likely that I'm going to be focusing on my existing collection a lot more. Unless apparently I really, really, really fall in love or something. Uh, okay, so now uh, this recording in which I was asked to describe my weekend plans. <laughs> Okay, that means I'm Jewish, which means that I don't work on sa that Saturday is a day of rest for me. I want to I saw la en pasa. I want to not to. It's uh, how do I put it? Um, I I'm trying to think. So on I think that's why I said it was on Friday. I how do I put it? So as I teach and I translate languages. Online, I buy ke jakam so I lock on you. Okay, so what I think I did mention was, uh, how do I put it, what I was capable of catching, uh, yeah, I would teach, usually teach one class of English on Saturday, but I didn't have it because of a cancellation. I want to go ahead and talk about the language, and the language is so on Saturday, I set it aside for practicing my languages that I speak B2 or better. So that means uh, I usually, uh, if you probably heard the word Anki and YouTube in there, uh, yeah, that's fairly self explanatory. Video game. Yeah, video game. Yeah, you probably needed no other word in that sentence. That means I do a lot of work on Sunday. Uh, means that, um, how do I put it? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to New York, Belgium, Basak, Konkoi, and Nimen, Language Exchange, NYC. So I usually have about five or six classes to teach on Sunday, but I also go to an event that is called Language Exchange NYC on Sunday in addition to that. Nawanati, I some Basa Yiddish, Basa Finland, Basa Sweden, and Basa Anki. So on Sunday, I find myself teaching Yiddish, 
English, Finnish, and Swedish, and probably you didn't really need much knowledge of any language in order to pick out those pieces. So it's very interesting that between all of this you probably heard, even if you knew no Lao at all, you probably understood YouTube and Anki, plus the names of various languages as well as the word video game. And so uh, keep in mind that even if you're going very, very far away from languages that you're familiar with, you'll always have some variety of reference point. And um, this is obviously more true if you speak international languages, which I would gather most people on the planet do in some form. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into conversation. Time to break my confidence. Okay, uh, lesson 19, conversation one, must. Okay, um, so let's see. Goi tang pai din no. That's I have to go to the airport. Goi tang pai den bin. What? What? Okay, so why is it den bin rather than din no? Okay, so that goi tang pai den no or goi tang pai den nin. I don't really know exactly why that is. If you know what's up, definitely go ahead and let me know. Please don't tell me it's another scrambling of the audio files. Pai hit nian. Pai hit nian. Okay, so pai hit nian. Okay, what for? To send off my sister. Bai song ye koi. Okay. Bai song ye koi. Yeah, uh, how do you do that? Bai song ye koi. Koi. Okay. Bai song ye koi. Yeah, I think this is also a problem I might have had in some of my recordings. The fact that this sound I actually don't pronounce more closer to like a guttural k in that regard. It's quite difficult for me. But uh, obviously the reason why I do this and I make a fool of myself on videos is so that other people have the courage to learn languages and do the same in your life. Okay, in their lives, yeah. I have completely forgotten any knowledge of any language whatsoever. Give me a gold medal. Okay, so what time does the plane depart? Okay, let's see if I can do that. Okay. I think I got that fairly well. Okay. What time does the plane depart? And then, Bai Mon Sao is 1.20 p.m. Bai Mon Sao. Bai Mon Sao. Okay. Bai Mon Sao is 1.20 p.m. Remember, those have to be rising. Okay. In that case, you should leave here at noon. So, let's see if I can do this. Breathe. Han San. Chao Kuan, Chao O, Chao Ni Tong Tian. So. Han San Chao Kuan Chao O, Chao Ni Tong Tian. Okay. Obviously, the last tone I messed up. So, Tian it has to be like flat, like that. So, Han San Chao. Fail me right now. Uh, Han San. Han San Chao Kuan, Chao O, Chao Ni Tong Tian. Okay. In that case, you should leave here at noon. Yeah, <laughs> Lord knows exactly what sort of what sort of thing happened after the fact. Ah, uh, yes, memories of planes having been missed. Actually, fun fact: when I remember in 2015, I spent the Fourth of July in Texas, in Austin specifically, visiting a friend of mine, Marshall. Hi, Marshall, if you're watching this, I know that you probably don't do most stuff with Southeastern languages, but hi. Um, he's an astronomer fellow. And uh, very interestingly, um, I, how do I put it, the taxi driver, the bus driver really thought it was a good idea to apparently stop for very, very long periods of time. Uh, and apparently I told him I needed to get to the airport and he said, you don't want to show up there too early. I said, yes, I do actually. And uh, one very interesting thing is that I nearly missed... Not only did I nearly miss my flight in Austin, but the connecting flight that I actually made, I literally got in a matter of seconds. And uh, I was very, very lucky indeed. Okay, speaking of being close. Okay, you're so late. A little later and you would have missed the plane. Oh. <laughs> you deserve to be an internet meme. So, you're so late. A little later and you would have missed the plane. Which plane is ours? Okay. Which plane is ours? And then the answer is, it's the white and the blue one. What? No red? Okay. Um, very well, because Laos is red, white, and blue colors. Okay, the, the flag, that is. Okay. 
เมนล้ำสีเกาสีฟ้าเมนล้ำสีขาวสีฟ้าโอเคเมนล้ำสีขาวสีฟ้าโอเค so one thing I really need to do is I need to emphasize the longer vowels and that's of significant importance to me conversation four never ever okay so have you ever written on a plane จะเคยขี่เรือบินบ่ okay so จะเคยขี่เรือบินบ่ Okay. จะเคยขี่เรือบินบ่ Have you ever written on the plane? And then no, never once. Yeah. What is this? A drinking game? บ่บ่เคยจะเขื่อ Okay. บ่บ่เคยจะเขื่อ Okay. บ่บ่เคย How are you supposed to pronounce that? How? บ่บ่เคยจะเขื่อ Okay. บ่บ่เคยจะเขื่อบ่ But he took the okay. This lesson is brought to you by whatever that is. Okay.